Cardi B, female rapper, musician, and artist, known for the song WAP, where she famously stated, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still got the ring. Directly stating and implying that, despite her lack of domestic abilities and skills, she still managed to acquire a mate. Let us now observe the Cardi B in her natural habitat and environment. You need to stop lying on your phone, man. She be lying. She clean. She got. What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. I'm back with a question. I hate how this. I got this new phone here, and it like won't stop vibrating. There's nothing you can do to turn it off. It's the craziest thing. So you're just gonna hear those buzzes, and you can hear my fans in the background. Anyway, I get a question. A weird question. I guess I get a lot of those. I should be used to it on Twitter. And, you know, this question, this question is one of the reasons why I'm, I kind of like made that video saying I'm kind of like, I'm kind of done with this whole, you know, relationship red pill stuff. I mean, I'm not done with it. I mean, obviously. Um, I mean, I'm still going to have multiple wives. If guys ask me questions about women and they need help, I'm obviously going to help you. I still run my men's community. It's going to change to a forum style, you know, um, as opposed to actual telegram groups. I'm still going to be doing this stuff. Uh, I, maybe that video is misleading. But the point is... This question is the type of stuff I'm sick of. And this is why I'm just ready to walk away from it. Because it really is, it's red pill rot. And I'm the one who coined the frame red pill rot. It's just a nihilistic black pill mentality that red pill automatically leads to. Nine times out of ten, red pill is used by men in the same way that cats and boxed wine is used by women. That's what red pill has become. Look, if you're not going to implement this stuff, then it's useless to you. All it's going to do is make you miserable. So at this point, there's so much information out there. There's so much stuff that you can use to improve your life. Just freaking do it, man. You guys need to really stop just like reading and reading and reading and reading until you become miserable. Because that's what's going to happen. And that's what, that's what happened to this guy. So let's get into this. How can a guy 5'2 even compete? I mean, that's how he starts. Come on, bro. You can't even say, hey, hello, good afternoon, good morning, whatever else, wherever it is. Hello. Nothing. This is your manosphere. No matter how much I try to improve myself, I can never increase my height. Black pill is starting to take its toll on me. Forever doomed to be a beta bucks. Thinking of end it all, ending it all soon. So I asked this guy, how is killing yourself an improvement in your situation? How is that a solution? I mean, I suppose it's a solution. I, I suppose it's a solution to being 5'2", killing yourself. But... I asked him, just make that make sense to me. How how you come from a logical train of thought from I have this quote unquote problem to killing myself. Okay, let's go further. So I asked him this. So he says, okay, suppose I'm not killing myself. It's still apparently an option. I can't deal with the fact that I'm mocked almost every day for my height. It doesn't matter what I achieve in life. Men and women will openly mock me, mock me my height full what? Y'all in y'all grammar. You should kill yourself for your grammar, not your height. Men and women will openly mock me my height in front of others. I guess they'll mock my height, you know, in front of me and others, as I suppose what you wanted to say. When they know they can't beat me in something, they will resort to calling me a short stack and all that stuff. It pisses me off. Why? Why? Why, is it your mom? Why? Why are you mad? And if it's your mom, throw it back in her face. Well, you picked a short husband. And you, you, it's your genetics, mom. Why would you care what random people think about your height? Even if they're not random people. Let's just keep going. The same way no woman will choose me over a taller man. Really? Why? So, why should I even put in the effort or struggle in life when I can just let it all go? Dude, do you think you're alone in this struggle? Dude, I'm six foot like three. I'm jacked, I can fight, I'm smart, I can actually learn like stuff super fast and pick it up really fast. I think the only area I'm lacking, and I don't even, I'm not even ashamed to say it, is basically monetization. And even that's getting better because money is rolling in constantly from Abu American. Alhamdulillah. So, you know, I mean, even that I kind of learned. I just need to increase the amount that comes in. But every week I'm like, yeah, nice. It's literally a paycheck I can count on. So... What do you think happens when I get slam dunks on people all the time? Because I get slam dunks on people at 48 regularly. What do you think happens? They can't talk about my height. They can't talk about my victories. What do you think they talk about? 
you nigger. I automatically become nigger. Oh, you black guys, you you slave. The, the Somalis they start calling me Bantu monkey. White people call me nigger. This one called the the Pakistanis and Asians call me call a shiddi. I can tell you the name of nigger in like multiple languages. You know why? Because that's the first thing they attack when you get a victory over them. But them attacking you based on something that you personally can't control is just a testification of your victory over them. Bask in it. Bask in it. That, the, those insults are the fruits of victory. That means you own their soul. Not in a literal Islamic sense where, you know, Allah owns the souls. That's just what I'm saying. But I'm saying you own their heart. You have snatched their heart out of their chest. It's just a testification of the proof of how superior you are to them that they can't attack anything except what you can't control. Those things which are under our power and our control, you've dominated them in. And then to top it off, why do you care what they think? You know, the word nigger doesn't have any real power over me. You can call me nigger, monkey, whatever else. It doesn't really have power over me. You know why? Because I don't care who you are. Who are you? I'm a guy who slam dunked on you and now you're mad. Well, have fun thinking about it for the next five years, because you know what? Everybody does it. There's the, even me. There's guys, they beat me, and I'm like, he shouldn't have beat me, and I'm still thinking about this. It happened back in high school. I'm 48. That dude, he owns a part of me. I'm going to get that dude. <laughs> Probably never see him again. I'm just playing. But anyway, there are situations where you think about, like, you should have never lost. That's what these people are doing. They're mad. They come up with excuses to, 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 to like try and degrade and degenerate you because they can't beat you. It's proof of victory. Dude, bask in it. It's like freaking sunlight on a cold day. What are you complaining about? And women not picking you over a tall guy. You know why they're not picking you over a tall guy? Because you have that mentality and she can smell it on you. That's the only reason why. Because you're walking around sort of like, she's going to pick what if there's a tall guy around here? You, you might think you're not walking around like that, but that's what you're doing, and it's coming out in your posture, it's coming out in the way you talk, it's coming out in the way you act, it's coming out and it's just oozing out of your pores. Why? Because you haven't embraced the ability to enjoy a win over a hater. Why haven't I quit Twitter? Muslim Twitter came at me multiple times, attacking me like multiple times, just inconsistently, un unabated. Why haven't I quit? Why? Because it, cause that they, they are my sunlight on a cold day. Their hatred, their constant obsession with me, it's fuel. It warms my soul. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, love it. Love it. And stop freaking taking to heart what some random weirdo, some just nobody to you in the scope of your life is saying about your height or your color or your race or your religion or whatever else it is you think you're suffering under. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, gosh, y'all killing me. This is why I talk about red pill rot. This is why I'm kind of sick of the manosphere because it, I'm, I'm destined to be beta bucks because I'm 5'2". Really? It, it, I didn't even know that's how it works. Guys, stop. 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 This is your man, Apple American. Yeah. I'm out.